Hi, and welcome to the show. Today, we've got Climbing Daily's very own version of MTV Cribs, but first, we've got an update on Uli Steck's 82 Summits project. After tragedy struck with the death of Uli's friend and climbing partner, Martin Suren, Uli has decided to resume the project. He and John Griffith teamed up over the weekend to tackle some of Chamonix's tougher 4,000ers and knocked off an impressive list of summits, including Mont Blanc, the Aigui Blanche de Putre, and the Aigui de Bionnesse. Uli's now getting very close to completing the project, so we will keep you updated if and when he finishes. Next, we've got something a bit more light-hearted. We're off to check out Robbie Phillips' crib, or more accurately, his van. Hey, my name is Robbie Phillips. Welcome to my humble abode. Ah! Okay, so I think there's a few things in uh, my van that are really important to have for the climbing van. Uh, probably fridge is important and stickers are essential. Got a few wraps down the bottom, a couple of apples, the leftover chorizo, half a pepper and a couple of Think Brow beers. And it stinks like something has died in there. For a Brit, probably one of the most important things in the van is the kettle. Need to make a good cup of tea after a good day's climbing, and before a good day's climbing, and during a good day's climbing. Tea, more tea, a cup for tea, and dried skimmed milk. Yummy. Music is mega important. I've got the Bodhi sound system over here. So that's what I uh, listen all my music out of. Also, not many vans, I don't think, have a grill. Grilled a good salmon in there recently. It's quite nice. Got a nice little uh, ventilation system here. Perfect for sunny days like this one. Let's get the ventilation going. And uh, oh, this bit here is pretty good because actually on my days off, I can sell hamburgers through this and just, you know, make some money on the go. So this bed, it's a rock and roll bed. It goes from this sort of seating position, sofa thingy, pulls all the way out into a full on bed, double bed. Also got my static rope cupboard, my trad gear cupboard of all the chalk, and my big wall cupboard with twin ropes and haul bags and lots of other stuff in it. Really important cupboard space for shirts, for looking good on the nights out. Up here, got all my books. As you can see, I've got a selection of good reading material. Joy Moffat's Revelations, Walden on Wheels. And uh, oh yeah, we've got Parois de Legion down here. Arnaud Petit's book, it's my Bible. When I was on the search for vans, uh, there were several good ones on the market, but none of them had an inbuilt beast maker apart from this one. And it's really good because it just, you know, keeps all the fingers in working order on this big alpine trip, you know, for core strength. Front lever a day, keeps the doctor away. All right, guys, uh, back of the van. So what do we have here? Oh yeah, Scottish flag. 
Useful for the French because if they think I'm English, then they'll damage my van. Some more big wall stuff. Got some nice, uh, my favorite climbing shoe, the Evolve Shaman. This is where I get all my water from. In here, got some La Sportiva Nepals. Perfect for walking in the mountains and good edges for edging. Get in there. Oh yeah, in case anyone comes near me, got my axes. Oh, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, a bomb. No, it's actually a gas canister. Um, but it can be made into a bomb, which is quite useful for uh, robbing banks when I do that. Yeah. Okay, that's it guys. You know where I live, you've seen my van. Now get the hell out before I get you. Thanks a lot, Robbie. One last thing before we go, don't forget that if you sign up to become a member of epictv.com, you get 10% off everything in the climbing shop. Very generous. We'll see you tomorrow.